And uh, our first first view of uh, the uh, Progress's black and white external television camera with the data overlay that uh, has become familiar to all viewers of Russian vehicle operations at the International Space Station. The uh, visiting vehicle officer here in Mission Control, Heidi Paris, indicates uh, to Flight Director Amit uh, Shatria that the Progress docking mechanism is now powered up in advance of the command to begin the initiation of the opening of the hooks, holding 58 Progress in place. In the lower left-hand corner of your screen is the uh, Progress 60 cargo craft that is docked to the pier's docking compartment. Just behind it, docked uh, to the uh, Rosviet module on the Earth-facing side of the Russian segment of the International Space Station is the, is the Soyuz TMA-17M spacecraft that was launched in late July to carry Ale Kononenko, Kamiya Yui, and Chell Lindgren to the International Space Station. Standing by now for the initiation of the commands uh, to begin the opening of the hooks, holding 58 Progress in place. And uh, the progress uh, hooks are now driving open as planned as we stand by for uh, the hooks to be fully opened and physical separation of uh, the progress from the aft port of the Zvezda service module. And uh, docking confirmed, right on time. Undocking confirmed at 5.19 a.m. Central Time, 6.19 a.m. Eastern Time, as the International Space Station flew 250 statute miles over northwestern China. I'm standing by, so whenever PU is ready, uh, I'm going to switch to Space Ground 3 and start test. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Kimia. We can switch to Space to Ground 3 now, and uh, we should be ready one whenever the KU forward is up. I'm changing to 3. It's one minute. A good view of uh, the... Uh departing International Space Station as uh, the Progress 58 backs away slowly but surely from the aft port of the Zvezda service module. Again, uh, this same docking port will be uh, the destination for Padalka, Kelly, and Kornienko two weeks from today as they fly their Soyuz TMA-16M spacecraft away from the Poisk module on the space-facing side of the Russian segment of the station and relocated to the aft port of Zvezda.
We're about a minute and and a half away from a separation burn. This will be a 15 second burn of the progress thrusters to initiate a uh, faster opening rate and place the progress a safe distance away from the space station about three hours from now for its deorbit burn that is scheduled at 8.28 a.m. Central Time. Hi, Kimia, Andre here on Space to Ground 3. No reply required. We are ready for protocol 2B. You're listening uh, to other activity that's taking place on board uh, the International Space Station as uh, Kimia Yui uh, works with the haptics experiment. Uh, there he is uh, aboard the International Space Station. Uh, Yui uh, launched uh, 23 days ago along with Oleg Kononenko and Chell Lindgren aboard the Soyuz TMA-17M spacecraft. And the separation burn has now been initiated on the progress, a 15-second thruster firing to uh, increase its opening rate from the International Space Station. And the separation burn is now complete, and the visiting vehicle officer reports a good burn. So progress now uh, will move uh, even faster away from the International Space Station to a point uh, for the initiation of a 3-minute, 19-second engine firing, a retrograde braking maneuver planned at 8.28 a.m. Central Time that will enable it to drop out of orbit for a destructive reentry back into the Earth's atmosphere where it will burn up harmlessly over the Pacific Ocean.